So on this channel, I talk a lot about being robbed in Costa Rica and how that kind of shaped where I am today. Um, in terms of things like my friends, my family, and the people around me, it's purely because of that trip. I still have so much positivity for that country um, and for my time there. I loved every second that I spent in, in Costa Rica. Apart from the day I got robbed, I'll say that. But I didn't let that negative day turn it into a negative trip. So in this video, I wanna tell you some of the positives about living in Costa Rica. I see a lot of videos online saying, oh, why well, you shouldn't live in Costa Rica. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly why I loved living in Costa Rica and more specifically why I lived living in, in the Caribbean side of Costa Rica. So number one, the first thing I wanna talk about is where I lived. And where I lived in Costa Rica was a small village called Barasmina. Barasmina is around a five hour journey away from the main city, San Jose, which you fly into. It's quite a difficult journey, if I'm honest. You have to get two buses and a boat in order to get to Parasmina from San Jose. This is the same journey that I got robbed on. Um, and I don't want to put you off going because I got robbed. Even everyone there was saying that was a one in a million chance. Unfortunately, I'm so unique that I had to be that one in a million. <laughs> the village is amazing. The animals that just kind of appear are sloths and you've got the sea turtles. Um, that's actually why I was there. I was working with the sea turtles. What's amazing about Palestine is it's surrounded by water. So you've got the sea and you've got the river. So I lived quite close to the beach so I could hear the waves crashing at night from my bed, which was quite relaxing, as well as I could go for a walk or a swim or go surfing every single day whenever I wanted to, as well as if I got bored of the ocean. I could go fishing on the river or go on a boat trip on the river. Another thing I love about Patasmina actually leads me into my next point of what I love about Costa Rica as a whole, and that is the people. Ticos is the term they call them, a Costa Rican person. They are very friendly people. They're, they've got a great sense of humor. They're always wanting to talk to me and, you know, I'd be walking by and people go, hello, <laughs> or whatever. Whatever English word they knew, they would shout at me. It felt like they were really making an effort with me and, and they treated me as something a bit more than a money tree. It wasn't a touristy area, so that's probably one, one of the reasons why. Um, I became friendly with a lot of people from the village. Like I mentioned to you, there's Marco up here who took me fishing and the boat trips and I'd just hang out with him, help out with his shop, as well as Jason, who would take me surfing and so many other people in the village who really became friends with me. There was one guy when I ran, I'd go on runs around the village and he would always shout at me like, go catch him or whatever. He's just trying to make a laugh and it put a smile on my face. And he seemed to get a bit of a kick out of it as well. That's the kind of um, humor that they have. They like to be loud and, and, and just shout people even if they don't know them and make a joke with them. Wherever you walk, you see someone and they will say hola, buenos dias or buenas. And it doesn't matter if you don't know them, you've never seen them before, they'll always do it. The saying goes, pura vida, which is translated to pure life in English. And it's more of a thing that they say to tourists. It's like a saying there, but it actually, for me, kind of represents my time there as a very chilled life, laid back. And I guess it could be the equivalent to Hakuna Matata from The Lion King. I definitely felt throughout the trip after everything that happened of me being robbed, the huge flood that happened and my foot being cut open, all that other shit as well. I felt because everyone else around me was very living by this Pura Vida, I definitely felt that as well. And I didn't get as uptight as maybe I would when I was here or before the trip. I've tried to carry on this lifestyle. It's quite hard to do when you're in a very busy area and very, everyone's very go, go, go and get shit done. And out there it's very relaxing. No one's pressuring you, no one's pushing you. And it, it just, it really helps you mentally. It's something, like I said, I've tried to bring back home. But yeah, sometimes it doesn't always work out that way. But like right now, where I'm trying to film this video and I've only got today to film it. I'm not feeling the Buddha Vida today, but I'll try my best later on <laughs> to feel it as much as I can. Number four was the people that came through, and that's not just the, the Costa Rican people, but the travelers from all over the world. I met people from France, Spain, Italy, America, obviously Canada. So many people came to this small little village 
that I became friends with and, and I'm still friends with today. For those of you who have seen my videos in the USA road trip, you saw that I met up with Josu. He's someone that is a close friend of mine just because of that trip in Costa Rica. As well as you guys love and know Emily, who I met out in Costa Rica as well. And you saw in Spain with Teresa. These people that I've met will always be part of my life. That is another reason why I appreciate this trip and I, I look back on this trip with so many memories. But before I get into the last point of why I loved Costa Rica so much, I guess I want to do a little heads up kind of part to this video where this town, Palasmena, if you are looking to go there, I would really recommend poking through Astop. It's the organization that works with the sea turtles and you get a place to stay, someone who cooks and cleans for you. Um, and when I say clean, they will have a washing machine for you to use. They will cook you breakfast, lunch and dinner and they offer you a place to sleep. Barismina is not a very well established village where you have a gym or you have a masseuse. There was one girl who turned up and she thought that she could get a foot massage somewhere. It is not like that. This trip will just benefit you in ways that you won't even realize until you go through the experiences that you do. For example, like I mention all the time, maybe I mentioned it a bit too much, me being rubbed in Costa Rica shaped this channel which I have now and it will for the rest of my life. So as long as I keep making this video, it started from that trip that I never got to film. But I will one day, so stay tuned for that. There are things about the village that happened. For example, the internet will just cut off, the power will cut off, the water will cut off, and this is just a normal thing there. Now, getting into my last point, which is how they made me feel like I was part of the village. This does go back to my point of talking about the people of Costa Rica, but I really felt like when I walked around, everyone knew who I was, they didn't question who I was, it was just like, a, oh, he's the guy who lives with Teresa, or he's the, Teresa's new son, or, or he's the, the Blanco, or he's the Ingles, or whatever they wanted to call me, they made me feel so welcome. I got invited to um, one of the guys in the village's party. Everyone there knew who I was, came over to me and said hello, asked me how I was, asked me how long I've been there for, getting messages all the time saying, oh, when are you coming back, or can you come back, or all this stuff. It really makes, makes me feel like that is another home for me. If this was helpful for you, please give a little like. It does mean a lot more than you think. Um, and if you do like this kind of content, I've got loads on my channel as well as travel videos and all that sort of stuff. So go watch those because they're good like this video. Thank you very much.